Hello everyone, and welcome to this Firebase Studio tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use Firebase Studio step by step. You'll learn what Firebase is, how to log in, how to create an app using a simple prompt, how to make a few quick changes using AI, and how to start a new workspace using a template. Firebase is a platform by Google that helps people build web and mobile apps faster. You don't have to manage servers or databases. Firebase gives you ready-to-use tools for storing data, authenticating users, and hosting your app. It also gives you a way to build apps using artificial intelligence. That tool is called Firebase Studio. Firebase Studio is a place where you can create apps just by describing them. You don't need to know how to code. You type what you want the app to do, and Firebase Studio creates it for you. It sets up everything in the background, from screens to features, so you can focus on your idea. Once your app is created, you can ask it to make changes. Again, just using your own words. Let's begin by opening firebase.com in the browser. Once the page loads, click on Get Started in the top right corner. If you're not already signed in, log in with your Google account. After signing in, you'll see your Firebase dashboard. This is where all your projects and apps live. Now you'll be asked what kind of app you want to make. A prompt box will appear where you can describe your app in plain language. Let's type something simple like, I want to make a notes app where users can log in and save personal notes. Then click Prototype with AI. Firebase Studio will now start building your app. It reads the prompt and starts working. Behind the scenes, it sets up user login, creates a notes feature, and designs a basic interface. All of this is done without you having to write any code. You'll see a loading screen for a minute or two. Once the app is ready, it opens in the Firebase Studio interface. You'll see a live preview of your app and a chat-style prompt bar where you can talk to the AI to make changes. Now, let's make some quick changes to the app using short commands. These are easy to type while speaking, especially if you're doing a voiceover. Click into the prompt bar and type. Change background color to light gray. Then, press Enter. Firebase Studio will think for a moment and apply the new background color. You'll see the change immediately in the live preview. Let's make another small change. In the prompt box, type, rename the app to Quick Notes. Press Enter again. You'll notice that the title at the top of your app changes from the default name to Quick Notes. Let's do one more. Type, make the login button green. Firebase Studio will update the color of the login button based on your request. You didn't touch any code. All of this happened through simple, natural commands. You just described what you wanted and the AI assistant updated the app for you. You can see how fast and easy it is to make updates to your app. Every change takes just a few seconds and happens live. You can test out different ideas without worrying about breaking anything. If you make a change you don't like, you can also say, undo last change, or reset to previous version. The AI can roll things back for you. Now let's say you want to start a completely new project, maybe a different type of app. Let's go back to the Firebase Studio dashboard. Click the Firebase logo in the top left or choose My Projects from the menu. Now click Create New Workspace. You'll be asked to name the workspace. Let's call it Template Demo. Then click Create. Once the workspace is ready, Firebase Studio will ask how you want to begin. You'll see two options. Then click Start from a template. Now this is important. All templates in Firebase Studio are code-based. That means if you choose a template, you'll be working directly with code files. When you click Start from a template, you'll see a list of options. These include different front-end frameworks and technologies like Simple HTML Astro Angular. These are full developer environments. They give you a head start if you're building an app with one of these frameworks, but they do require experience with coding. You'll need to read and edit HTML, CSS, or JavaScript directly in the code editor. 
So to be clear, there are no no-code templates in the template section. If you are not comfortable with coding yet, it's better to stick with the prompt-based approach. That's the only path in Firebase Studio that doesn't require manual code editing. But there's one more helpful feature if you're using prompts, and that's the prompt template examples. You'll find these right when you select the prompt-based path, not in the template section. These are pre-written prompt suggestions that help you generate an app without having to come up with your own idea. For example, you might see Tipping Calculator Recipe Generator Landing Page. Let's say you choose the Tipping Calculator Prompt template. You don't need to type anything. Just click it and Firebase Studio will automatically fill in the prompt and generate the app for you using AI. After the app is created, you can still make changes using short, natural language commands. Firebase Studio will understand these and update your app, all without you writing any code yourself. So if you're looking for a way to create apps with zero coding, your path is to use prompt-based app generation and optionally choose from the list of prompt examples like the tipping calculator. Avoid the template section unless you're ready to work with code. The prompt path is the only no-code path. You type what you want and Firebase Studio builds the app for you using AI. It's fast, flexible and beginner-friendly. You can also choose from prompt templates if you want ready-made ideas. The templates path, on the other hand, is for developers. Every template there is code-based and requires you to write or edit HTML, JavaScript or framework-specific files. So if you're just starting out, Stick with prompt-based creation. Use simple prompts, make small edits, and let the AI handle the setup for you. When you're ready to go deeper and want more control, you can explore the templates and begin writing code manually. This is where Firebase Studio becomes more than just a tool for beginners. It becomes a full development environment. Using natural language prompts is great when you're starting out. You can describe what you want and the AI does the heavy lifting. You don't need to know how code works behind the scenes, but there are limits to what you can do with prompts alone. Sometimes you'll want to make changes that the AI doesn't fully understand. Maybe you want a custom animation, or maybe you want to connect to an external API. You might want to set up more advanced logic, like conditional navigation, complex form validation, or user permissions. These things often require you to write real code. So whether you're just starting out or already comfortable with development, Firebase Studio gives you the tools to build apps your way. You can stay on the surface or go as deep as you want. The tools are ready for both.